Hi everyone, Sean Waldman with Secure Cyber Defense and I'm bringing you a special edition of the weekly cybersecurity update. This is to address a critical update inside the Microsoft operating system involving DNS. So let's get right to the information. So yesterday, Microsoft released an update uh, to fix a what they're calling a wormable issue with the Microsoft DNS service inside uh, the Microsoft server operating systems. This is actually a vulnerability that's existed for 17 years. Why they're, why they're just now uh, patching this, I have no idea. Uh, but we have to get down to the information at hand. So uh, first of all, at the bottom of this video in the information section, uh, the notes section, there are links to the various things that I'm going to talk about. There's a patch that's available. There's um, a registry the, uh, um, change that's available. So let's get into it. But there's information at the bottom. You basically have two options. One is there's a patch available, but keep in mind that our information uh, from right now is telling us that that patch is not good. So um, we don't believe that patching this particular vulnerability is an option right now. Uh, if you wanted to patch it, um, down in the notes, you could download the link for the patch, but patch at your own risk. Um, it's part of that cum cumulative update, and from the information that we have um, from our patch testing uh, vendor is that there are issues with that patch. The second option that you have is that there's a registry change that you can make. So down in the notes of the video, there's a link that tells you uh, the information you need to make the change to your registry on the DNS server. So this is going to be for any server, um, I believe, that's running the DNS role from 2003 all the way to 2019. So every server operating system um, is vulnerable to this particular um, vulnerability. Now, this is also called a wormable uh, uh, exploit, and it's getting a CVSS score of 10, which is the, the highest uh, score that you can get in the, on the vulnerability scale. It's wormable because uh, if they're able to, there's no evidence right now to indicate that this is being taken advantage of in the field. However, your uh, you've got to take action on this immediately. Do not wait till the weekend. I would take action on this as soon as you possibly can uh, to make sure that you're remediating this particular vulnerability. If you have domain controllers that are exposed to the internet for whatever reason, uh, you need to address those now. So as soon as you watch this video, make arrangements this evening to take precautions and run the registry change until we can get information that the patch that Microsoft um, has for this particular vulnerability has been cleared up and it doesn't have any issues. On the firewall uh, area, if you're a secure cyber defense customer and you've got one of our managed firewalls that's managed by our team, we are making adjustments and have already made adjustments to the uh, IPS signatures to make sure that we are detecting and blocking for this vulnerability. If you are not a Fortinet customer or you're not a customer of our product and you have another UTM firewall, please just check with that firewall manufacturer. They likely have some guidance on this out for you and just make sure that you're taking whatever precautions you can make with those vendors uh, to make sure that you're protecting your, your network adequately. That's all I have for this particular update. We will still continue to put out the weekly cybersecurity update, the regular one. We'll film it tomorrow and likely have it out tomorrow or Friday. Uh, but for right now, that's all I have. Um, if you have any questions, our contact information will be at the bottom of the screen. We'll be happy to help you out. Otherwise, have a great evening. Thank you.